So this might be one of the craziest things I've done yet on this island, and it's only been a week. Hi, how's it going? It's currently only been a week since I've started this island and I'm already bored. So you know what? I think it's time that I buckle my seatbelts and speed through the final part of starting a brand new island. So today, if you can't already tell by the title, honestly, cause I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet. I currently have six villagers on my island. If we need a little update, here it is. I got Lyman, Muffy, Bo, Meringue, Shino, and that. And today I, I'm gonna be hunting for the final four villagers to fill out the roster on the Island of Blue. Please ignore this mess. What is Bo looking at? Why is he just staring at the sky? This was just, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, Bo, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bo. I'm just gonna ignore that and we're gonna continue on. First things first though, I gotta sit through some more dialogue so I can actually go and buy me a plot of land. This game has been out for over a year and I still don't understand why we have to spend 10,000 bells to put land. Because like, you're required to have villagers on your island in order to hit three stars. Like, it's a mandatory thing. So why do we have to pay out of our own pockets, Tom Nook? You know damn well he can afford the plots. I just, I, I find it so confusing to this day why we have to spend the money and work hard to bring villagers onto the island. I'm gonna just place the plot down right over here. I feel like it's a good spot right next to Able Sisters. Why not? There we go. Now you're probably wondering this. You're crazy. You're gonna hunt for four villagers in one day. You must have a bunch of tickets ready to go. Well, that's where you're wrong, viewers, because I only have 28 tickets. We all know me. I love a good challenge. I love being stupid and messy. So basically, with 28 tickets, I've tasked myself with finding four villagers, meaning that's seven tickets per villager. We might as well just get right into it. There's literally nothing else to do. Who am I looking for, you might ask? Hopefully Biscuit, hopefully Fang. As always, those are my dreamies. I love those two so much and I have yet to see any of them since starting this YouTube channel. So I would love if I could find either one of them. Also Portia, Portia has become someone I'm looking for on this island because I need to reunite her with her wife, AKA Muffy, who for some reason abandoned Portia and ran away to an inhabited island alongside me and Lyman. Aside from those two or three though, is there anybody else I'm really looking for? Probably Fret, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, Fret. Of all the 2.0 villagers, he's my favorite one. So I guess it would make sense if I could find him as well. Other than that though, there isn't really anybody else I'm like super duper looking forward to. So I think we're just gonna go until we can find some really great villagers. Again though, I only have 28 tickets. Well now 27 and I'm hunting for four villagers. So I gotta strategize. We gotta think thoroughly. Seven tickets per villager. And now we're on island number one. Will we find a dreamy right away? I highly doubt it. Who do we think it is though? Three two, one. Where are they? Oh, <gasps> oh my God. It's my boy Flip. Oh, he was my starter on my first ever island of this game. So he has a special place in my heart. I do enjoy Flip. I will be honest, but I'm not going to take him because I already have a jock and I do not need more than one jock on my island. Unless it's Teddy. I think I'll be open to having Teddy on this island too. Bo's already here. So thrown out that rule of having previous villagers. I guess like that's a decent start. So we might as well head off to the second island and see who's there. Island number two. Here we go. Who do we think it is? Three, two, one. I kind of see them. Oh my God, it's Sly. It's one of the new ones. Hey, right away, second ticket. We already found a 2.0 villager. Further confirming the theory that they're basically just cranking it out. They're making sure every single player who goes on a villager hunt finds at least one 2.0 villager. Pretty safe to say. Anyways, Sly's here. He kind of looks like marble cake or like a Swiss roll. I figured I'd share that real quick, but honestly, yeah, <laughs> I'm not taking them. He is a cranky though, so I'd be open to having him on the island, but I'd rather he autofill than me choosing to take him, so pretty safe to say I'm not taking Sly. So we might as well continue on. Oh my God, and I got a garbage bin. I got a garbage bin from a tree I won. So funny how only in this game, I'm obsessed with garbage and like the garbage bins and the trash items. I don't know why. It's like quite talented on Animal Crossing's behalf that they're able to make trash look so pleasing to the eye. I got not much else to do on this island. So we might as well head off to island number three. Oh wait, there was a bottle. I picked it up already. Who do we think it's from? Three, two, one. Chrissy. That's half of the bubblegum KK girl. Off to the next island though. 
Okay, so the last video that I posted was that hiking trail. I haven't edited it yet. It's currently only Sunday, December 5th. Um, that video is not planned to go out until the 7th. And I did already touch upon it, but I feel like people are going to ask my thoughts maybe on Maddie Morphosis. I don't think anyone's going to ask, but I'm going to share anyways because I'm pretty sure people are curious. Personally, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't care because that sounds like I'm like ignorant. No, I just, I'm not bothered by it. Uh, for those who don't know, in case you don't, because I didn't know right away either, I only found Found out a few days ago, Maddie Morphosis, a queen who was casted on Drag Race season 14, they are a cis het white man, um, and they are doing drag, and they are now on RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh my god, I'm on Trash Island. Who do we think the villager is, though? This is island number three. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was somebody else. I thought that was the fucking criminal. I was about to scream. Oh, thank god, it's only candy. I mean, that's not any better, but it's better than. Anyways, yeah, like I said, with Maddie Morphosis, straight men in general doing drag, like I don't really have a problem with. With it. I don't think there's anything wrong with straight men doing drag. Like, drag is for everybody. It's an art form. Blah, blah, blah. You've already heard that argument. Um, yeah. And like I said, I don't think there's any reason to be bothered by it. However, people still are. I get it though why people are bothered because I don't think people are bothered by the fact that there's a straight man doing drag like obviously straight men have been doing drag and they still are doing drag the main reason why they're so bothered is more so just the fact that like there's a straight man on drag race and like drag race is a show that's all about just the lgbtq plus community and just being so fucking gay so for there to be a straight man on there before we've had an afab queen on the u.s season before we've had like great representation for non-binary folk who do drag and just like pretty much everybody else who isn't a gay man like we only just started getting more and more trans representation and I feel like speaking on that note you know like I said Maddie Morphis is being on the season I don't think there's a problem with it and I feel like if there are any issues like it's not necessarily Maddie's fault like I've noticed Maddie's been getting a lot of hate I don't think Maddie herself deserves any hate who is that oh my god it's another mouse ew but it's Bella oh my god Bella where the hell have you been loca oh. yeah like i said in conclusion i don't think it's right to send hate towards maddie i feel like if there are any issues like i get it because like basically a straight man has been on drag race before an afab queen but i don't think that's like any justification to send hate towards maddie you know if people are super concerned by it i feel like that's more in the faults of like the production and rue i don't know if any of that made sense it made a lot of sense in my head but now i'm articulating it and it's like coming out very confusing tldr Maddie Morphis is being on the show. I'm quite excited for it. I think it's still important to see, you know, straight men doing drag on TV because it still does go against heteronormative culture, which is very important. And it helps break down toxic masculinity. How do you say that word? Masculinity. You know, like, I think it's still important, especially for a lot of young men who do watch the show. I think it's important to see for them to see someone like them being comfortable enough in their masculinity to still do things that are traditionally feminine. You know, I don't know if that made sense. How am I in my final year of university about to graduate and I don't know how to articulate my thoughts still. That just goes to show that college is a scam. I like Maddie Morphosis. Am I rooting for her? Not necessarily. I still think she's gonna be a filler queen on the season. No offense. But yeah, I mean, regardless of the fact, it's still exciting to see <gasps> oh my god. It's not the lazy dog I want, but it's a lazy dog I fucking love. It's Bones. I love him so much. He was on Windle. Which if you know that he was on Windle, you would know that I'm most likely not going to take him because I only have six amiibos and somehow his is one of them. I don't think it's right to bring a villager who I can just scan in any time of the day when I can go out and try my best to find the lazy dog that I love the most, which is Biscuit or Benjamin. I would accept Benjamin too. To finish off the drag race point, oh my god, it has taken me so long to get to the fucking point. I don't think people should be spending a lot of time focused on the fact that there's a straight white man on the show. The thing that is more important, the thing that I feel like more people should focus on is the fact that we don't have just one. We have two trans girls, more specifically trans black women, you know, Carrie Cole, and cornbread both of them are on the season together and i think that is so much more important i still think in this day and age especially drag race needs to evolve open its doors to as much of the queer community as it can which it shouldn't be hard to do so the fact that we're having more trans representation on the show is amazing and that's what i'm more focused on i think that's what makes me more excited for the season to see two black trans women on the show it's amazing it's amazing stan cornbread stan carrie colby i'm rooting for cornbread 
Cornbread, as is 90% of the fan base at this point. I really would love to see Cornbread win because she is so fucking funny. Oh my God. Cornbread is so hilarious. I actually know her like from outside of Drag Race. That's Weber. I don't really care about him. How many tickets do I have? How many tickets did I spend? Oh shit, I was not, was that seven tickets already? I have 22 left. Okay, so I still have one ticket left. I need to pay attention. In conclusion, blah, blah, blah. Stan Cornbread, she's an icon and I hope she wins. Um, But yeah, my top four for the season is still very much the same. As I already said, I think it's Bosco, Angeria, Willow, and Cornbread, and maybe Camden, if not one of them. Like I think if it's a top five, yeah, the top five of the season, I'm calling it right now. It's Camden, Bosco, Angeria, and Willow, and Cornbread. That's the top five. That's what I'm predicting just off the Meet the Queen interviews alone. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I technically only have one ticket left before I have to find a new villager. So shit, I didn't even take that in. Oh God. Enough drag race talk. I hope that made sense. We might as well continue on with the fucking villager hunt. You know, the most important thing about this video. <laughs> oh God, I have one ticket left. Will I find villager number seven with this one ticket? Or else I'm gonna have to like cut into the next group of tickets and you know, fuck up the math and blah, blah, blah. This is island number seven and it's Louie, okay. <laughs> Oh shit, I do not want Louis. no, no, no. I should have just taken Bones. I should have just taken Bones. I'm already gonna call it now and just gonna go to the next ticket and just see who it is and hope for the best. I have 21 tickets left and I still need to find four villagers. I have said fuck it. You know what, screw it. Whoever is on this ticket, just so I don't fuck up the math too much, whoever's on this ticket, I'm just gonna take them. Is that all right with y'all? Y'all don't care. I don't know why I'm telling you. Island number eight. Yeah, this is island number eight. Who is that? <gasps> It's Peanut. It's a squirrel. Okay, I'll take Peanut. I, I, Peanut's better than Louie. You are coming to the island, girly. I didn't expect to see anybody on this island. Nice to meet you. I'm Peanut. You're from Blue. I totes. Oh, she's Peppy. I thought she was normal. Oh God, I'm about to have two Peppies on my island. How exciting. She's definitely gonna have beef with Shino. 100%. Hope y'all are ready for that. Shino and Peanut are gonna fight each other. Wanna come live on my island, girly? Oh God. Fuck, I just dropped my glasses. They didn't crack, we're all good. Resident number seven, Peanut, coming to blue. So we might as well just time travel to tomorrow and continue the villager hunt. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big blue welcome to Peanut. Did not expect to get Peanut of all villagers, but I'm not complaining. Peanut's pretty cool in my books. Actually, first, let's see how her house looks before we do anything crazy. I'm curious. I'm assuming it's like pink or something though. Oh, it's not that ugly. That's not so bad. I'm not mad at that, I will say. It is pretty safe to say she's gonna be one of the first residents to move out. Hey, thanks for your suggestion the other day. You were right. This island is lay gorgeous. I'm so excited for my new life here. Let's catch up once I'm done unpacking. Everybody say hi to Peanut. Don't know how long she's gonna be here, but she's here for the time being. She's so adorable though. I will say that. You can't go wrong with the squirrel villagers. The squirrel villagers are all dope. Why is Meringue thinking? You are not the villager that's supposed to be thinking right now. I've been talking to her every day too. How dare she? How fucking dare she? Wait, but like, it's only, is she gonna ask to move out? There's no way in hell she's gonna already ask to move out. What? Are you kidding me? No, you are not moving. I am not trying to find five villagers with only 20 tickets today. No, 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 ma'am. I don't want to get rid of Meringue yet. How dare she? That is so rude. I think Blue is a stunning island to live on. Sure, we have just a bunch of fossils lying around, a lot of weeds everywhere, and her house is just randomly placed, and she also shares an island with Lucha, of all villagers, but like, I think Blue is still a perfect island to live on. How could she possibly want to move out? I don't understand. Oh, right. I have to continue the progress of the game. Wait, let me do that real quick. What should I do? Yes, yes. Project K. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I think this house can just go right here in between peanuts and the campsite. Nope, there's no room. I'm gonna have to put it somewhere else. I think right here is good. Hopefully there's enough space for it. Oh, there's just enough space for it. How awesome. And with 20 tickets in my hand, I'm now off to find resident number eight. So I'll see y'all on the first island. Or I guess this is the ninth island? Depends on how you want to count it, I guess. Island number one slash nine. Who do we think is on this island? Is it a dreamy? I sure hope it is. Who is it? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, ew. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to bother. Now listen, it is a known fact that I am a sole preacher of support the gorilla villagers. Don't hate on them just because they're gorillas. They deserve more love in this game. That is an exception. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know why he looks like that. I do not want him anywhere near me because he looks creepy. I'm so sorry. And I do do not want to bother. So there's no bottle on this island and I already found the furniture. So Wilbur, please get me off this island. 
How dare you bring me onto an island with him? Oh my god, I just realized I like Loki manifested Peanut because she's literally the same colors as the shoes my player is currently wearing. The hot pink, or the, is it fuchsia? Or is it hot pink? No, hot pink is like, what is hot pink? Hot pink, is it the same color as Doja Cat's album cover? That's what I assume hot pink is. And then fuchsia is like in between purple and pink, AKA the color of fuchsia, the villager. And then baby pink, I know is like the one that everybody is obsessed with, myself included. It's the best shade of pink though, let's be honest. Maybe I should do a video where I just rank different shades of pink. Island number two, who is it? Is it a dreamy? It better be a dreamy. No, it's not a dreamy, but Felicity's pretty cool though. So I'll accept it. Not in the sense that I'm gonna take her, but I'd rather her than what I found on the previous island. Why can I not catch this damn fish? We still have 18 tickets left. All right, so 20 tickets and three villagers. That's basically six per villager with two extra tickets. Basically, I'm gonna give myself six tickets this time and let's hope I find someone within the six. Well, I guess in this case, four because I already spent two of them. I really gotta learn how to do my math and I really gotta start keeping count. Oh my God, it's another island that requires a ladder. What is happening? I know I can just like not have my ladder, but I keep forgetting to get rid of it. Anyways, who do we think it is? Three, two, Never mind. I do like Pashmita, okay? She's pretty cool, but I just, I, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I just, I can't, but I do trust Pashmina with my life, you know? Like if she was a doctor and she was gonna perform like heart surgery on me, like I feel like she would be successful. Anyways, there's a bottle though. Who do we think it's from? Three, two, one, Groucho. Okay. Anyways, off to the next island. Ooh, it's a sister fruit island. That, that uh, please, please, you know, just please, please, please. With the luck of these pears, please. Ooh, and there's a fossil. If there's a fossil and pears, who do we think it is though? Three, two, one. It's a cow. It's Norma. Ooh, Norma gives me the vibes of a Gilmore Girls character. Doesn't she look like someone who would be on Gilmore Girls? Not like Rory Gilmore or Lorelai Gilmore. I'm talking like one of the Stars Hollow residents, like Bet Bet, Miss Patty. You know, like she looks like one of those girlies who would just like sit in the corner and like gossip about everybody living in the town, you know? Like she would definitely come up to you and be like, oh my God, Lorelai and Luke got back together, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting Bat Bat vibes from her. And that would be pretty cool to have on my island. But as you can clearly see, I am not taking her because I do not want Norma on my island. Who is on the next island? We shall find out. Island number blah, blah, blah. There's 50... Again? Girl, I said no to you the first time. What makes you think I want you that badly? You are so brave for assuming that you're worthy of running into twice. Don't get me wrong. I love Louis. I think Louis's adorable. <laughs> really? Wilbur, please. I don't have enough tickets for this bullshit. Either send me to an island with Fang or Biscuit or just shoot me in the head. I don't have enough tickets to deal with the bullshit. Also, I just realized the plane is the same color as Wilbur. Yellow and blue. That is so interesting. He definitely did that on purpose. Wilbur looks like the type of person who has a car that like matches. No, he's the type of person who has like a house that will is the exact same color scheme as him, like backyardigans. Which by the way, backyardigans, why did they have, why were their houses the same color as them? I get that it was a kid's show. Imagine having a child and that child ended up being pink. So you paint your house to match your child and their interiors as well. Like you can see through the doors, like when they go into their houses, like Uniqua has a a fucking pink kitchen which i mean that does sound great but then you go over next door to tyrone's house and he has an orange kitchen orange you're gonna paint your entire house orange to match your son that makes no sense no sense at all anyways we're on an oh my god i'm taking him i'm taking him it's walker i'm taking him i'm taking him i'm fucking taking him i'm not pulling this again i already said no to bones i'm not saying no to another lazy dog hell to the fucking no the lazy dogs and the cranky wolves are the best fucking villagers in the game so i'm having one on my island walker you are walking your ass straight to my island even if i didn't get the lazy dog i want i at least got a lazy dog that is still acceptable i love walker so much so i've said no to him so many times it's about damn time i finally say yes to him Ooh, and there's a fossil too oh my god we won we won second time's the charm that's islander number eight already found and we only have 14 tickets left let us time travel to the next day and we'll find us 
Islander number nine. One thing though that was so weird about New Leaf that like not enough people talk about was how mandatory the campsite was in that game. It was like an unspoken rule too. In New Leaf, you were able to have 10 villagers. Your 10th villager had to be a campsite villager. On your town, it would only be nine villagers and like no one else would move in unless you scan an amiibo or brought them in through the campsite. And I always found that so weird because the campsite villagers are so annoying, especially in New Leaf because it's like if your island Island is full in New Leaf, like you already have 10 villagers, they won't move onto your island no matter how much you pesker them. I always hated that too, like there had to be an open plot on your town in order for a campsite villager to move in. That was so weird. Thank god they got rid of that mechanic in this game. That would have just been so dumb. Campsite villagers in New Leaf, stupid, all of them. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give another big blue welcome to Walker. Another dog on the island. We got three bitches on this island, Isabel, Walker, and me. I think his house is pretty cute. Judging by like him, I feel like it's gonna be a black and white house. I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look cute though. I have high hopes. Ooh, yes it is. I accept. Good job, Walker. Good job, you have a nice house. Hey, Wiss, I'm all done moving in. You were right, this island is neat. I'm real excited to live on blue. I wanna play with everybody, but first, whoa, I gotta get unpacked. Baby boy with the blue eyes, I love him so much. He is baby, happy to have Walker on the island. Let's place this next slot. Oh, Lyman wants to talk to me. What's up, Wiss? Where it is, you've been pumping the island up for a KK Slider show. KK songs are the best. I play them during cardio, on my jogs, when I'm trying to fall asleep all the time. What I'm saying is KK is kind of the secret to my swollenness, so thanks for helping to bring him here. And speaking of both swollenness and thanks, this is for you, Chips. I thought you might want something heavy to help with your endurance training. Oh, and also the KK thing. KK will come if we show enough blue spirits, so go flex your sand You think sandcastles are heavy? Let's just stick this plot right here on the peninsula, why don't we? Oh, no we can't, there's not enough room. I guess I could do it right over here. Yes. Ooh, it looks so pretty on this island. Oh my God, with the snow and the sunrise. Wow, this is stunning. We have 14 tickets left and I'm tasked with still finding two more villagers. So who do we think is on this island? Three, two. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, he's here. Look at him with the fucking hot pink hat. Oh my god, we're twinning. He's got the hat on, I have the shoes. Look at him staring at me. Get you someone who looks at you the way Fret looks at me. Oh my god, I'm Fret. Came here on a whim, but this island doesn't seem half bad, goshers. You're this from Blue, yeah? Had no idea this was some kind of trendy destination, but it's cool to be hobnobbing with you here. I'm looking back and wondering if maybe it's time for me to make some kind of change, shake things up. Yeah, come to my island, bestie. I won. Oh my god i just have to stare out into the distance and process the fact that fret oh my god and he's coming here to stare at the distance with me on the first ticket nonetheless like what is happening can you stay still i need to take fucking photos for the thumbnail stop moving this is happening this is happening fret is moving on to the island that was so quick that was so quick okay we're headed off to the next day then we're gonna find the final villager already i'm so excited now i'm excited fret is on this island shino and fret the two 2.0 villagers I was the most excited for alongside Cephalobot who I also have back on my other island. So my holy trinity of 2.0 villagers, I found all three of them and I now have them on my islands. This is like the game making up for the fact that Lucha is my campsite villager. That's what it is. That is 100% what it is. We have a new friend on our island. Big blue welcome. Welcome to Fret. Fret, on behalf of your new family, welcome aboard. I'm going straight to his house. I don't know how his house looks either. Oh my god. I don't know how any of the 2.0 villagers houses look except for like Shino's and Cephalobots, obviously. I have both of them. So I'm running straight. Where did I plop his house? Over here. Where is it? Lyman. Lyman, please. I need to go see my new future boy. Oh, never mind. You're giving me reactions thank god me after finding a dreamy Ooh, ooh! this house is cute i'm obsessed i'm obsessed that's my favorite type of house too the zen houses with like that exterior i'm obsessed i'm 100 percent. oh and he has a nice interior too i like those walls i don't know why i do i just do hey this surprise you said you wanted me to move here so here i am a bona fide resident like you goshers i still have a lot of unpacking to do can you come back tomorrow this place will be ship shaped by then i'm a winner <laughs> that is the summary of this video this this alone makes up for the fact that um you know that is my campsite villager oh my god for a second i thought i had 10 residents and then i forgot that i'm a part of this list too i was about to scream because we got to go on one more villager hunt 
I found Fret. I still gotta find Fang, Biscuit, and Portia. So maybe if I'm lucky, one of them will be on the final hunt. Which, ooh, we got 13 tickets. 13 tickets for the 10th villager. That is quite exciting. That is quite exciting indeed. That gives us ample amount of opportunity to find someone great. I found Dreamies with only 10 tickets before. So hopefully I get lucky this time. If the villager hunting gods are still by my side, it's like, who knows? Maybe they gave me Fret and then they're just gonna leave me alone from here on out. Where should I stick this final plot of house? Where should I put it? Where do I have space for it? I don't think I have space like on any of these beaches. I don't want to like get rid of all the furniture that's already on the beach. They can move like somewhere here. Um, let's just stick them right next to Bo's house. Why don't we? Bo, you're getting a new neighbor, whether or not you want one. The tree is in the way. Wilbur and Orville, please, babes, please make my life easier and just put Fang on the island. On this next villager island that I head off to, or sorry, Nook Miles Island that I head off to, just let it be Fang. I'll even bribe you. Bestie, I got bells in my bank account. Not a lot, but enough to, you know, get you a nice lunch. Maybe a nice place to sleep for a night, not for like your life. Just saying, I have enough bells to do that. I got a lot of crops I can sell. Get you more bells. Wilbur, please, please put Fang on this island or I'll hit you with my net. We got 12 tickets left. Ooh, ooh, it's Money Rock Island. That's exciting. If I do say so myself. Oh, it's Panchetti. Ew. That's a good sign though. Hey, that is a really good sign because Flip was my starter on my first island and I also had Panchetti on that island too. And look at that. I just learned the recipe for the beekeeper's hive. Save the bees. Maybe we're getting warmer and warmer to Fang. I think we're off to a good start on this final stretch. Let us continue, shall we? Oh my god, Gossip Girl. I've been watching the new Gossip Girl. And honestly, I must say, it surprised me. Like, I'm someone who did watch the original Gossip Girl as well. I didn't watch it, like, when it was on air. I watched it on Netflix a few years ago. Um, I only watched it for Nate because I just thought he was hot. I liked the original Gossip Girl, and I was actually a fan of the new one as well. There were some parts that were a little cringe and a little iffy. Okay, it's Bangle. She's cool. She's cute. She's fun. She looks like someone you can have a good time with. I'm a fan of her, but I will not be taking her sadly. I have nothing but good things to say about Bangle though. She's very adorable and I think the tiger villagers are quite underrated. Yeah the new Gossip Girl I'm not like super mad at it. I thought I was gonna hate it. Honestly like I I, I don't know why it was like giving me oh it was like giving me Riverdale vibes like in a way like I thought it was gonna be going down the same route as Riverdale which I oh there, okay. It's not an angry coconut villager hunt until I get stung by a bee. Like, end thoughts. I, I, I do like the new Gossip Girl. I think it could be better though. Like season one wasn't amazing or perfect by any means, but it was interesting though. Like I, I found myself binging every chance I could because I didn't start watching it like right away. I waited a few weeks before I wanted to, wa before I started watching it just because um I wanted to see what everybody else was thinking. Like can know whether or not it was really worth my time. And yeah, people were like saying, you know, it was like not great, but it wasn't isn't bad either so then I was just kind of like all right let's check it out and yeah like I said like it's not amazing but it's still binge worthy in a weird way like it is actually still a very interesting show and I hope with season two that they like do a lot of things uh first and foremost Luna and Monet I'm a Luna and Monet stan it is safe to say obsessed with those two and I really hope that in season two they have more of a bigger role in general it looks like Monet is gonna have a bigger role because it seems like they're gonna go down the villain route with her I'm still gonna be obsessed with her even if she is a villain and oh uh, actually oh that's biff i thought that was somebody else he's cool but i don't want him i had biff on my new leaf town though so i have a soft spot for him because i do actually kind of like him he's pretty fun kind of weird though but fun bottle who do we think it's from three two one Daisy, another dog. Maybe it's a sign that I'll find Biscuit today or even Portia. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, Shan from Gossip Girl. They introduced her towards the end of the first season. I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. She's amazing. And I really hope once again, she has a bigger role in season two. She better because I've been on Twitter. Everybody's obsessing over Shan. Don't fumble the bag. <laughs> Give her a bigger role in season two. I don't think I've seen people talk about it, but imagine if Shan and Monet got together. Just saying. I don't know. I can see like enemies to lovers sort of thing happening with those two. Just saying. Just saying. All right. What island is this? Island number. Ooh, we only have nine tickets left. Okay. <laughs> it's Anacotti. I didn't ask for this and yet I still got it. I don't understand. Also, I have Anacotti in the same New Leaf town I had Biff in. Interesting. Interesting. If I do say so myself. I do not want Anacotti though. She is annoying and she deserves to drown. She just looks like she smells like mothballs, you know? Like, that's what it is. That's what just makes me so uncomfortable about her. I get, like, Nanny McPhee vibes as well, but Nanny McPhee is an icon, whereas Anacotti is not. She looks like she smells like mothballs. She probably likes 
the fact that she smells like mothballs too. I mean, like mothballs don't even smell that bad though. But like, what am I saying? I don't know. She looks like she would put a curse on you. I just don't like Anacotti. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, yo, we have eight tickets left. Who's on this island? Is it a dreamy? Oh my God, it's Pecan. Pecan, my girl. She's gonna act like she doesn't know who I am because she's embarrassed to admit that she lived on Fallbrook after the bullshit that Agnes and Margie put her through. You know damn well they ran her off the island cute reunion it's so nice to see her again there's literally not much to say other than the fact that agnes and margie they knew what they were doing running her off the island they did it they were ahead of their time because you know damn well if pecan stayed on that island there would have been some big beef involving Whitney and that's not what she deserves that is a hundred percent not what Whitney deserves Whitney is too iconic to be involved in any more drama. Basically what I'm trying to say is thank you Margie and Agnes for running Pecan off the island. And in turn, I got Cephalobot on the island. So who is on this island? We got seven tickets left. Again. <laughs> Cephalobot? Excuse me? What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be on Fallbrook. So hooray for first meetings. Oh my god, did you get amnesia, girl? What are you doing? Why are you out here? I said you were a filler queen, but that doesn't mean you run away from Fallbrook. He's probably just like going on a day trip, you know? He's a newly created robot, probably just wants to explore the world. You know what, Cephalobot? Good for you. I respect that. I was literally, ooh, stacked shopping baskets? What does that look like? I was literally just talking about Cephalobot and then bam, he shows up on the next island. Ooh, ooh, that actually works perfectly for what I'm planning to do with this island. And bam, got the furniture. Anyway, Cephalobot, uh, he ran behind that cliff, but um, nice to see you again, even though you haven't been gone for, well, you haven't been gone, period. You're still on Fallbrook, so obviously I'm not gonna take him. Am I the only one that likes Cephalobot, by the way? I feel like I'm the only one who loves him. Like, I was so excited when I found him. I just love the robot villagers though. I just love robots. That's what it is. I don't know why. I feel like robots are gonna take over the world one day, but like, I'm down. I'm down for robots to take over the world. It's time humanity steps down from the throne. Look how much bullshit they put mother nature through, you know? God, if we had like a Detroit become human situation happen in real life, 100% I'm gonna be Carl, old guy with a bunch of tattoos who just wants to paint and like nothing else. But for me, it's play video games, but I'm 100% gonna be old with a bunch of tattoos. That is for sure. I love Carl. He's also kind of hot. Who's on this island? Boots. The house down. Yes, God, mama. Work that. Charlie XCX. Kim Petra's fantasy. Yes, mama. Boots. It's pretty cool, but I do not want him. If it's not obvious. Uh, we got six tickets left. Is the furniture on this tree? Nope. Is it in this tree? No. Girl, where the fuck is the furniture? Is it there? Nope, that is definitely not the furniture. Bye. We got five more tickets after this island. Oh, without further ado, let us see who's on this island. It's... Grizzly? Grizzly. Grizzly, Grizzly, Grizzly. Don't believe me, Matt. Name's Grizzly. Fancy meeting you here, uh, wherever here is. I'm on my fuzzy on that part. Grr. I do like Grizzly. I will say that. Like, of the cranky villagers, I am a fan of Grizzly. However, he's not a cranky villager I'm willing to take. I feel like if I was having a cottage core island or like a foresty core island, he would definitely work for that. It would 100% make sense. He's like a lumberjack type. Very attract- I mean, very fitting for the island, you know? Yeah, I'm not gonna take Grizzly, but it is nice to see him though. He is definitely one of the cooler villagers. And if he was him, Charlie XCX, Charlie X Ooh, bamboo. I'm gonna be here for a minute, just a minute, collecting some bamboo shoots. Ew, Pango. Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much time here because I do not need to be around that. Let's just grab a few bamboo shoots before we head off. Pango or Pongo. How do you say her name? I hear both versions and like, I just like to switch between the two of them, you know, spice things up. Pongo's an interesting one. She is definitely an interesting one. And if you watch Chugga Conroy's New Leaf Let's Play, count how many times I've referenced that Let's Play on this channel. Can you tell it's one of my favorites of all time? And there's a bottle. Who do we think it's from? Three, two, one. Silvana, cute. If you do not put me on an island with Fang or Biscuit or Portia, by the time I finish these tickets, I will scream and I will cancel the Dodo Brothers. I have the power to do so. Hashtag the Dodo Brothers are over party. I can already see it trending. <laughs> This shit needs to hurry up and finish. But I only have four tickets left and I do not have enough miles. So I have to take whoever's on one of these four tickets. Just saying, babes, it better be a dreamy. It better be a dreamy or at least somebody decent. Somebody not ugly.
Hoke doke harachoke. We have three tickets left after this one. Who is on this island? Who is on this island? Who is that? Is that Weber again? I said no fucking repeats. Y'all get hashtag Dodo Brothers or Over Party ready. Start typing it in. Save it to your drafts. If I don't find a dreamy by the end of this hunt, y'all know what to do. That's not even a sturgeon. Oh, no, but that is still a new fish. Well, at least I got something useful out of this island. Okie dokie. Who is on this island? I don't want Admiral. Stop wasting my time. I have to find somebody within these two tickets. It's either whoever's on this island or whoever's on the next island. We're gonna have to take them. Oh god, I feel like it's gonna be somebody great on this island and then it's gonna be a matter of chance. Whether or not I'm willing to risk it to see if Fang, Biscuit, or Portia are on the last island. That's exactly what's gonna happen, isn't it? I am manifesting Fang, Biscuit, or Portia on this island. Or at least just another snooty. I don't even have a snooty on the island yet. I just realized Fang, Biscuit, Portia. Fang, Biscuit, Porsche. Fang, Biscuit, Porsche. Oh my god, it's Fang. It's Fang, y'all. I won. Fang is here. This villager hunt is officially over. Guys, look, it's Fang. Fang is standing right behind me. Now it's Jay. Of course it has to be Jay of all people. God, I do like Jay, though. I do. He's a cool villager. He, like, I feel like him and Robin are definitely related, too. I feel like Robin's his mom or his aunt or something, and then Jay's, like, you know, the little boy child that belongs to them. They just look alike in my head. They do look alike. Why am I saying in my head? That is a known fact. They look alike. Oh my god, Wilbur, please. Please, Wilbur. Please, Wilbur. I'm looking at you. Be very positive. I'm trying to be positive, but you're not helping because you keep putting me on islands with these stupid villagers that aren't Fang, Biscuit, or Portia. This is the 10th villager, the final villager of blue, and I'm now on the final ticket. I'm calling it right now. Whoever's on this final ticket, I'm gonna take them no matter what. Like, that's just what we have to do. Whoever is on this ticket, I will take them i promise so oh god i'm not ready gonna be an ugly one i can already tell but knowing my fucking luck even though i got a dreamy already it's gonna be him it is 100% gonna be him. Wilbur, I am ready to push you over this pier if it's somebody I don't want. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I will take him. I will take him. You know what? It's better than nothing. Wilderness training is just the best, isn't it? I'm Dom. What's your name? Vis, huh? Great to meet you, Vis. You're not from Blue, are you? You are. I didn't know it was real. I heard the best abs in the planet to come from there. Yeah, they're from Lionel. Er, sorry, Lyman. I will accept Dom. I'm probably not gonna keep him. It's better than who I thought it was gonna be. I hate the jock villagers, but I have more than one jock on my island. I thought that was gonna go a lot worse. But yeah, we still are missing a snooty villager. I still have not found Fang or Biscuit. And this is most likely going to be the last villager hunt I make this year. So I guess 2022 will be the year I finally find Fang or Biscuit. Good morning, Butterpup, even though it's actually 7.20 p.m. It's currently 7.20 a.m. on Thursday, December 9th, which is also wrong. It's actually still December 5th. We have a new friend on our island. Give a big blue welcome to Dom. Congrats, Dom. Dom Torado. Dominic family. Literally the campsite video, I put a Dom Torado meme and now Dominic Torado himself is living on my island. Damn, I should have seen it coming. Ooh, oh my god, his house matches bows. That is so perfect. Why am I standing outside of it? Let me go say, let me go say hi to him. What is the voice that I want to give Dom? I live here starting today, ready to get spoiled together. This place is great, but I shouldn't be surprised since you pointed me here. Thanks for the advice. I'll be busy unpacking today, but let's talk tomorrow in Dideru. I haven't seen a Fast and Furious movie in so long. I don't even know if that's how Vin Diesel sounds. Isabel, I need to talk to you because I want to see something. I'm going to guess right now that I'm at two stars. How did I know? Uh, it's probably just all the trash. That's probably what it is. I think this is a good stopping point for this video. Let me just trim the fat out of this frame. Thank you so much for watching. I will say it's been a while since I've done a villager hunt where I looked for more than one villager within one day and it was quite fun. Honestly, if y'all are down for it, I would say it's quite fun. If you have a lot of Nook Miles ticket and you just started an island or you somehow have more than one plot available, definitely try to find more than one villager in a day. It's actually really fun. Well, it's official. We have 10 residents on blue and now I'm left with the task of getting to three stars 
in order to bring KK Slider onto the island and unlock terraforming, which is something I'm dying to start doing again. This is the end of the video now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below whatever you want. Um, I don't really care. Subscribe for more videos. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe button's right there. It's free. Blah, 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 blah.